guys, this is problem number two for week nine. Uh, and the problem just says to explain how a fridge works. Uh, and we have to include info on these four bullet points below. All right, so uh, to start off uh, simple, uh, as I'm sure you're aware, a refrigerator is just a heat engine working in reverse uh, as far as the thermodynamic process goes. Uh, so basically, uh, in the case of a heat engine, we're trying to take heat energy and convert that into mechanical work. Uh, but in the case of a fridge, we're doing the opposite. We're going to inject work into the system uh, and use that to cause a change in temperature. All right, so in that way, a refrigerator is the reverse of what a heat engine does. Uh, so as for the way that a refrigerator actually does this, uh, the easiest explanation I have found uh, on the internet was uh, not actually using the example of a fridge specifically, but uh, think of if you were to put water on your wrist, uh, you would feel like a cooling sensation on your wrist, and that cooling sensation is because the liquid is evaporating actually, right? So when liquid expands, or in this case water, we'll just say when water expands, uh, the system cools down, and when water is condensed, conversely, the system heats up, so the opposite of this example would be uh, if you were to take like a cold soda out of the fridge in a can and the can starts uh, condensating on the outside, uh, that's the can heating up or that's synonymous with the can heating up because the liquid is condensing. All right. Uh, so fridges use this uh, concept to kind of essentially pump heat out of the inside of the fridge. Um, so yeah, going off uh, or focusing on this first bullet point, uh, which says, how does the fridge appear to uh, get around or break, quote unquote, the second law of thermodynamics. Uh, so the second law states that uh, the system has to go from hot to cold, or it can only go from hot to cold spontaneously, uh, which is true. But in this case, it's not going from hot to cold, or it's not going from cold to hot spontaneously. Uh, we're actually putting in work that makes it go from cold to hot. So in that way, uh, it doesn't actually break the second law of thermodynamics because we're injecting external work into the system. Uh, so as for how the fridge actually takes thermal energy out of the cold object, uh, so we basically, how a fridge works is there's a fluid inside like a tubing that runs through the refrigerator, all right? And uh, we basically, there's a, so there's a compressor down here or uh, some machinery that compresses the fluid slash gas. And then there's an expander up here, which is going to expand the fluid uh, slash gas. All right, so when we compress the substance, basically it's going to get really hot, uh, which draws heat out of the fridge. Uh, so we're going to take all the heat from the fridge and it's going to pass through here and then we're going to compress it and it's going to get really hot and therefore be passed to the outside of the refrigerator. Uh, and then it's going to go through an expander and expanding it really rapidly uh, is going to make it really cold again. All right, so making it cold passes uh, through all around the food and stuff, makes it all cold, and then we're going to pass it through here, it gets hot again, and the cycle continues. All right, uh, so as for the second bullet point, uh, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm not really sure how a fridge is different from a heat engine in reverse. Um, everything I found online seems to just be talking about the idea that it is a heat engine in reverse. Uh, so I'm just going to skip over that bullet point. But as for the third bullet point, which says, where is the work being done in a fridge? Uh, so basically the work is being done on this compressor. So if we look at a, a PV diagram, this is where the work is injected at the compression point. And then after it's injected into the compressor, uh, we see the work basically condenses the gas that's in this tube. And thus, as we talked about, heats it up really fast and then expands it and it's later expanded and then it gets cold again so yeah the, the work is being done on the actual compressor of the fridge uh and as far as the pv diagram of the fridge goes in the last bullet point as i showed you up here so work is injected here uh while the fluid is being compressed and then it's gonna con uh condense as it gets hot like we talked about with the soda out of the fridge because when liquid condenses uh, heat is absorbed uh, and then what's called throttling is going to occur. Uh, you don't, the specific nature of the term isn't really important, but basically throttling uh, is when we cause a, a very fast pressure change, which makes the gas evaporate or expand. 
which as we talked about with the water on the wrist, when it expands, uh, the system cools or the fluid cools and makes your food cool. All right, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching.